it's the second full day in Rotterdam and I'm just planning my day out. I've only got a few more hours here before I'm going to start heading to Amsterdam. But um, by the looks of things, I'm going to be going to the Line 10 historical tram. Then after that, I'm probably going to the food market, get some uh, lunch. It's going to be a real shame leaving this hostel. It's just such a nice place just to hang out. Really friendly staff, lovely place just to well, yeah, just chill really. along the streets and I found this main street and it appears to be one of the main uh, cool roads of whole Rotterdam there seems to be lots of like bars and restaurants and actually I was here last night when I was trying to find myself a nice kebab turns out turns out there's a, a few Dutch uh, Turkish um, specialities around here and one of them is called capsule which is basically meat chips with loads of cheese spread over the top fairly recommended especially once you've had a few drinks unfortunately I won't be around to actually check out on the Thursday and Friday, Saturday night. But I'm pretty sure it must be pretty heaving. In fact, that makes me consider that I might come back on a Saturday. We'll see how it goes. The sun is shining and everything is good. <sighs> and right behind me, you see a Rotterdam Central Station. It's a quite a striking piece of architecture like most of Rotterdam is. In fact, if I just quickly spin round, you can just see behind me all these like different very contemporary modern buildings. And yeah, pretty damn impressive. So um, after waiting a little while at one of the uh, tram stops sold by one of the train conductors, this is actually where the train uh, number 10 tram goes goes from. I decided to actually ask at the tourist office um, exactly what was what's the whole thing about it. Am I right waiting at the right stop? After a little bit of a discussion with a couple of guys, it turns out it the number 10 tram only runs uh, during the summertime. So I pretty much wasted a whole hour and a half waiting around for nothing, which was great. I must admit, I'm feeling a little bit grumpy. The next part of the plan, going to the food market, was actually a really good idea. On the inside, it looks even better. They've got, they've got all these um, decorations on the ceiling. It's incredible. And of course, the food stores itself, absolutely just what I needed. I'm actually getting really, really peckish. I've just been had a quick walk around and there's all sorts from classic um, Dutch fairs, street waffles, uh, lots of fish and chips, lots of chips, uh, lots of Asian type foods lots of um, salad type places. In fact, the more I talk about it, the hungry I'm getting, so I'm just gonna have a quick wonder. Now, I'm still on a search for Haring. With a little bit of luck, I'm gonna find what I'm looking for. Maybe. I bloody hope so, because like, I'm just like, ah, oh, needing something to poke me up a bit. Let's see what we can find. Quite a few days of baiting to find haring and having a bit of a grumpy, grumpy day, I finally found some haring and I'm really quite happy. Like this is one of my highlights of coming to um, to the Netherlands for me. Since the first time I tried it a couple of months ago, I've been just dreaming almost about having my haring. And yeah, I finally found some haring. Uh, this uh, in the food market I, I'm, I'm hanging around now, and it's just this fish shop and they had a whole bunch of them selling and I'm just so happy and also quite hungry so I'm just going to stop talking and just jump, jump straight into the food
finished my food. It's a really, really nice uh, beer food, lunch. And I'm, in, I'm just still absolutely amazed by the scale of the seating of this, the inside of this building. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. I just can't stop staring at it. And what I really love about it is just that this whole market as well is full of such just incredible food from uh, fish and chips, sweet stuff, there's uh, loads of seafood stuff. In fact, I, I kind of went overboard on my lunch with seafood, but whatever. Nuts, spices, there is a, just a ton of Asian food. So I get the feeling that the Dutch really love the Asian food here as well. Um, really good mix of people, loads of drinks. I can see like you know this being a real gathering spot for like friends just to hang out. Um, I definitely will come back here next time I'm here in Rotterdam. So I decided to have, grab some tea or coffee. Did a quick search online. Turns out there's actually a really, really nice tea shop right by with some really high ratings, and it's called the Tea Lab. It's a very cool, easygoing, relaxing environment. Some music playing in the background. A nice selection of um, teas. Some really lovely desserts. So I'm just going to catch up with some more reading and decide exactly what to do. Uh, it won't be too, it won't be too long before I'm going to have to start heading to Amsterdam and catch up, catch up with my friend. It's really quite lucky that I actually have a friend in Amsterdam. Otherwise, it would have cost an absolute bomb to arrange accommodation over King's Day.